Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, December 17, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college basketball in just a moment. And listen, it is the college basketball free pick that we're going to do. However, uh, if you're new to these videos, what we do every Tuesday throughout the course of the season in the NFL, been doing this for a while now, is uh, we give a recap of everything that happened in the previous week's action from kind of a betting perspective, kind of notes we made throughout the games as we watch them on Sundays. And then of course, Monday Night Football. So we're going to kind of mix the two today. We've got an NFL recap from this past week and also a free pick in Tuesday Night College Basketball. Before we get to all of that, a real quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video. Get yourself a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com, and it comes with a DocSports guarantee. Again, get started. Free $60 account by clicking on the link below the video. 2-1 for us last night. Uh, we won in the NBA. We won in the NHL. Uh, but 2-1 overall. Lost that free pick here. Had a nice uh, free pick weekend in football. Had a nice football weekend overall. Premium picks went 4-1. Free picks 2-1. Uh, but the Colts obviously were out of it almost from the start uh, against the New Orleans Saints. So Jacoby Brissett, and we're going to recap all the NFL in just a moment. But first on Monday night, it's fresh in our mind. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, when it was early, when it was still a game for the first quarter, uh, missed several, at least three drives in a row where he missed potential open receivers uh, on a third down and it led to a punt and of course one of those punts being blocked uh, but that took them out of any any sense of rhythm and uh, all of a sudden the team just fell apart and I'm not saying that Indianapolis would have had a chance to cover that spread anyway but at least they would have given themselves that outside possibility of doing so but the right side was New Orleans if you had the Saints you were on the right side you cashed the ticket again our free pick tonight from College Baskets coming up in just a bit here's what's going on for us uh, over at DocSports.com on Tuesday. First of all, our college football bowls. Uh, first set of bowls will be released this Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, at the same time, of course, and in the same package as our NFL plays for the upcoming week. You know what we've been doing? Uh, we're off with a four and one NFL week. We're now 38 and 21. That's 64% against the spread over the past eight weeks. We've won 80%, or I should say we're on a college football bowl season winning run of 80% uh, over the last decade. So anyway, we'll have the first few college bowls. We'll have our NFL all available this Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And on Thursday's video, I'll let you know exactly uh, what we're doing. As far as Tuesday, we've got NBA now on a 67% when he run after the Chicago Bulls got us the cover last night. NHL's been great all season long. Another winner last night. Short favorite with the St. Louis Blues. Blowing things open in the third period. Getting the win over what had been a hot Colorado Avalanche team. We'll have college basketball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. We'll have NBA and NHL at 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. Let's get to what we do every Tuesday. We go to our NFL recap and we'll jump right into it. Not in any particular order just as how we keep notes. And I did want to start though with the two Terrible beats if you were on the wrong side and wrong total of these games, and obviously miracle wins if you were on the right side and right total. But of course, the Eagles beat Washington 37 27. Eagles win. Eagles backers got the miracle cover on the defensive fumble return for a touchdown on the game's final play. By the way, it's the only time the entire game Philly was covering that point spread. Some books said on Monday that that was a swing of about five to six figures in favor of the public, in favor of the betters in that particular game. Listen, the Skins game over seven yards per play only had one turnover but couldn't get the win or the cover uh, Philly ran all over them by the way 157 yards big day for Carson Wentz and of course the other horrible beat if you had the under of course the Falcons beating the Niners 29-22 the Falcons scoring two touchdowns in the game's final eight seconds including on the final kickoff when San Francisco started doing the old lateral pitch drill and uh, pitched it all the way back near their own goal line and Atlanta picks it up and runs it in for a touchdown Falcons got the win and by it, you know, here's what one Las Vegas book reported. I think it was the Cosmopolitan on Monday, uh, including the win with the Eagles, including the win with the over, the miracle over between the Falcons and San Francisco. One lucky better in Las Vegas had placed a $200 nine-team parlay. He won $75,000 at the Cosmopolitan thanks to those two games, both ending the way that they did. 
The Dolphins lose to the Giants in what is likely Eli's final home game for the New York Giants. 36 to 20, New York wins. And Eli, you know, wins, I should say. And Eli had three interceptions, but he also had a couple of touchdown passes. Uh, the Giants went four for four in the red zone. They averaged about six and a half yards per play. Nice game for Saquon Barkley. The Buccaneers knock off Detroit 38 17. Wow, wake up, Jameis Winston. Four touchdown passes to the guys in Buccaneers jerseys. Only one pick uh, to the guys in the Detroit jersey. Uh, and David Blau couldn't get it done for Detroit. Tampa out gained Detroit by 200 yards. They gained about seven yards per play in the win and cover. Arizona over the Browns, 38-24. The Cardinals, of course, with the win and the cover there. Hey, listen, I like the future for this Kyler Murray, uh, Kenyon Drake combo in Arizona. I think it's going to be great. Nick Chubb ran well, by the way, for Cleveland. Uh, Baker Mayfield wasn't horrible. These two teams combined for almost 380 yards rushing against each other. Both teams gained over six yards per carry. Arizona five for six in the red zone. Something to jot down how they've been playing uh, from time to time this season. Jaguars come from behind. They beat Oakland 20 to 16. Raiders blew the 16 to 6 lead. They missed a field goal also inside two minutes to go up three. Uh, and then, of course, Gardner Man Minshew throws that that uh, touchdown pass to go ahead with 30 seconds to go. Oakland had 27 first downs to only 17 for Jacksonville, and they outgained the Jags by 100 yards. But listen, it's just a situation where Oakland doesn't know how to wrap up games sometimes, and they lost again. Patriots over Cincy, 34 to 13. Pats ran for a buck 75 on five and a half yards per carry, but again, uh, did not throw the ball well. The passing game wasn't good. They gained only 290 yards total, 100 and, uh, you know, less than 125 through the air net. Uh, in the game, but Andy Dalton gifted them four interceptions, 77 return yards on those picks. Stephon Gilmore with the pick six that opened things up. Hey, listen, Sony Michelle ran well for the Pats, so there is uh, some, I guess, positive news for New England besides just getting the win, but again, that passing game was still weak. Uh, Bengals, by the way, Cincy fans are only one loss away from the number one pick in the draft. KC downs Denver 23-3. We had the under here as the free pick uh, the other day. Tyreek Hill, two touchdown receptions. First touchdown since week 10 for him. Uh, Mahomes had a decent game, 27 for 34, 340. Couple of touchdowns, only one pick. Right now, KC is the third seed for the playoffs, and uh, so they're going to be playing for something over these last couple of weeks. They outgained uh, Denver 419 to 251. They had seven yards per play. Uh, best game for Mahomes, by the way, in a few weeks, despite the wrist injury, despite the ankle injury several weeks ago. Uh, Seahawks over Carolina, 30-24. This was a tough one if you had, Carol if you had Seattle. Uh, Seattle was up 30-10 to at one point in the game. And over the final less than five minutes of the game, Carolina scored a pair of touchdowns uh, to get the cover for a lot of people. Push for some, cover for others. If you got this one later in the week after it moved to six and higher, Seattle being the favorite. So kind of a bad beat there also if you had Seattle. Uh, the Vikings were down 10 to 9 at one point to the LA Chargers and then scored the game's final 30 points. This was a pros versus Joes game for the most part. Sharp money was on the Chargers. They lost. Public was on the Vikings. They won. Phillip Rivers, terrible. He had that fumble also late in the first half. Some bad passing choices. 16 years in, might be time to call the quits. And by the way, check out the injury status. Of course, you had the Dalvin Cook injury on Sunday. Obviously, something to be concerned with for the Vikings moving forward. Bears lose to Green Bay 21-13. We had the pack here uh, as a free pick over the weekend. Another bad beat almost came to fruition. Uh, Trubisky had the Hail Mary pass that was almost completed in the end zone. And then with one second left, threw kind of a short pass over the middle. And it was lateraled all the way down inside the Green Bay 10. Looked like Chicago had a man open for another lateral. Could have got in the end zone. And could have potentially either lost this game but covered or sent it into overtime. Uh, but <clears throat> they fumbled the ball at the Green Bay two-yard line. Green Bay got on it for the win and the cover. Green Bay just 12 first downs and they were outgained by more than 120 yards in the game. But they had a plus three turnover ratio. Our top play on Sunday was the Houston Texans. They got the win. They got the cover 24-21 as a short dog over Tennessee. Uh, listen, you had a big day running-wise for both of these teams. Tennessee had a big day running-wise, but of course, 57 of those rushing yards came on one run from their tight end, Jonu Smith. What a run. Boy, he's something else at tight end. Houston up 14-0, six minutes to go in the third quarter, almost gave it away. Uh, Watson had the pick inside the Tennessee 10-yard line to keep it close. Carlos Hyde was terrific for Houston, and uh, Deion Andre Hopkins came up big when it counted most for the Texans. Uh, the Rams lose to Dallas 44 to 21. Our second biggest play on Sunday were those Cowboys. Listen to these numbers. 
the stat of the game, uh, Dallas receivers were open on 39% of the passes thrown to them that were completed. By open, open, I should say, we are talking that they were open by more than five yards of cushion. It's the most that receivers have been open for Dak Prescott in his entire NFL career. And a great example was that Tavon Austin catch uh, where he was 15 yards away from any Rams receivers. They are defenders. The Rams defenders ran into each other. Tavon Austin's 15 yards away from any receiver. It goes for a 59-yard touchdown reception. But how about that? Almost 40% of the completions went to wide open receivers. You hardly ever hear that. Goff, by the way, got hurt on his throwing hand late in the second quarter. was never the same. Elliott and Pollard for Dallas combined for almost 250 yards rushing on 36 carries. And finally, Sunday Night Football, the Bills 17, Pittsburgh 10. Uh, listen, thanks to the Bills win and the Steelers loss, the Browns and the Raiders are still in the playoff mix, technically speaking. Buffalo and Pittsburgh, uh, boy, they were about even on total yardage, but the Bills ran much better than did the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the difference in the game, of course, was Duck Hodges and his four interceptions thrown. Got the Bills at the Pats this weekend, Steelers at the Jets, Pittsburgh owns that tiebreaker, by the way, against the Titans uh, due to the best win percentage in conference play if the playoffs were to start today. So there's a recap in the notes we took and everything we saw. Hopefully you can use some of that uh, for your handicapping this upcoming week in the NFL. All right, again, um, Tuesday, before I get to the free pick, Tuesday, we've got NBA, 67% run. That's at 1 p.m. Eastern, also 1 p.m. Eastern for the NHL over at DocSports.com, up over 60% of the NHL uh, on the season. And then, of course, we've got college basketball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. I've got at least one pick for college basketball on Tuesday. Free pick for today. We are going to turn to college basketball action, and we're going to back the Miami Hurricanes over Temple. Uh, Miami getting a couple of points here, about two and a half as I cut this video. I like Larry Nega in this spot. I like the fact that his guards are more athletic. They're bigger. They're stronger than what they're going to face in the Temple Owls, and I think they'll be able to dribble drive, get inside the paint, kick it out to the open man. You're going to see a lot of that, I think, in this particular game against Temple. And uh, it's a situation where we understand why Temple is a two and a half point favorite by power rating wise. We've actually got Miami as the short favorite and we think they get the victory here. So I'm going to recommend a play on the Miami Hurricanes plus the points over Temple Tuesday night college baskets. And I'll be right back here Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Much shorter video. I promise the free pick from Wednesday's card at that time. And our first free football pick for the upcoming weekend will either be on Wednesday's video or Thursday's video. We'll wait and see on that. But anyway, right back here, 5 a.m. Eastern, Wednesday, no later than that, with our next free pick. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday morning.